the Kevin Charms, home of UK comedy. Thank you. Fuck the Apollo. That's what I say. <laughs> My name is Joe Street, and as of signing up to this gig about three weeks ago, I have been labelled Australia's Joel Domit, which I'm pretty fucking proud about, or I was, for about five minutes until I found out why. <laughs> Turns out it's not because I'm funny, which you will find out in the next five minutes. <laughs> Turns out it's not because I look like the cunt. <laughs> Turns out the real reason is because there's a video of me masturbating that's circulating <laughs> all over the internet, which is not something you ever you, sir, ever want to find out. Especially not from your own fucking mother. <laughs> but if you take part in events like Stockwell's Blindfold Masturbating Championships, it is something that might happen. <laughs> Another thing that might happen is three weeks after the event, you still may have no idea where you came. <laughs> Another thing that might happen is your girlfriend might leave you. That's slightly, uh, slightly less happy. Um, but it happened relatively recently. I say recently, it was probably back in March, actually. 2011. <laughs> um, she, she left me because I have quite an unusual fetish, ladies and gentlemen. I have a fetish for stroking pasta. Since she left, I've been feeling kind of lonely. Another reason she left, she actually wanted to go away travelling to uh, Southeast Asia because she's the same as all of you cunts and that's the only fucking place you go. Um, so I did one of the most ram romantic things I've ever done for anyone. I got banknotes from each of the countries that she was going to visit and I folded them into little origami animals because I am such a romantic cunt. Can I have a bit of a thank you? That, or any, any sort of reaction about me being a lovely soppy bastard? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually started a television channel off the back of that for origami specifically. It was pay-per-view. Um, but we weren't very good, so we had to fold pretty quickly. Um, so eventually, um, obviously my girlfriend went away. Uh, she ended up in Australia, which to anyone you would think is actually not a bad place for my, my girlfriend to go away to, uh, if I were Australian, which I am not. Um, I'm just a guy who fucking hates flying so fucking much that when I decided to take the trip abroad to go see her, to tell her that I still love her, uh, I was so fucking traumatised that I have not been able to get out of this fucking accent ever since. That was fucking <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> Literally. Like, what the fuck? I, I, went, I go to the doctors like once a month, at least once a month, and they tell me the same fucking thing every, every week or month. <laughs> 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 they tell me, the only thing you can do to cure your illness is be in a room full of about 30 people, one wearing a really nice leather jacket, and have them all laugh at your shit jokes. <laughs> but it's fine, because eventually, after a while, I did go out, I started dating again, I started um, sleeping with women, I've been sleeping with a lot of women recently, it's, it's not a good thing for some reason. Um, I slept with a larger girl relatively recently, want to know how I got her into bed? Three words, piece of cake. <laughs> I slept with a girl from Intel Computers the other night. She let me do her in the bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> uh, I actually ran out of women in the end. So I had it, Well, I say I ran out of women. My, my Tinder broke, I assume. Either that or all the girls in South West London are lesbians. I think it's probably the first one. Probably the first one. Um, but yeah, so I started going out with inanimate objects. Um, I went on a date with an inflatable extremist terrorist sex doll. It's the same as a normal sex doll, but she blew herself up. <laughs> I went on, went on a date with a bicycle. I thought she'd be good for a pump. Really romantic meal. Had a great time. Took her home. No sex. You know why? Because she was too tired. <laughs> but it's fine because my friends are getting married nowadays. My friends are getting married. And you know what happens? When people get married, they have weddings. You know who goes to weddings? Girls. You know what girls do at weddings? Fuck. Which would be great if all my friends weren't fucking posh, rich, overprivileged cunts who decide to get married at fucking broad. <laughs> I've got to go to fucking Sicily next week. I've got to go to Cancun in two weeks. I can't get the fucking train to Cancun. I've got to fucking fly in a fucking tin can across the fucking second most dangerous ocean in the fucking world, the Atlantic. Obviously, the first most dangerous ocean in the world is the Hepatitis C. But I don't want to fucking die at sea. I don't want to be like fucking Rose and Jack and Leonardo, all of them in the fucking film with the iceberg and the boat and the fucking 
all, all of that shit, the Sixth Sense, what is that's one from the 90s? Sixth Sense? The Sixth Sense, right? Or is it? I get confused because the, the, it's the lot, it, it's about, yeah, it's about the I see dead people, right? Oh. There we go. I'm going to say goodbye because I feel like it's, my time is up, but lovely to meet you. Look after yourselves and I will see you soon. Take care. Joe Street, give him a round of applause. Well done, Steve.